might just as well have bought it home in the Emporia. It's deep water sponge, ma'am. The finest grade of sheep's wool that there is. That's only the skeleton that's left of it now. But it took her three years to grow to that size. <gasps> oh! What's the matter with this one? He seems to be undersized. Perhaps he didn't have the right nourishment, my dear. A young sponge peaked before it had a chance to grow. Oh, seems rather cruel, doesn't it, killing off the young ones. Horace, you must write to your congressman. There really ought to be a law. There is, ma'am. That's the smallest size the government will allow them to take. A fine day for the fleet to come home, Captain Patton. I hope the St. Nicholas has a good voyage. Oh, you'll see. My boat will have the fullest cargo and the best sponges in the fleet. She'll never fail. He was a fine diver before he got the bends. The bends? When they stay too long below 20 fathoms, and then come up too fast, that sudden change in the air pressure. They never know those divers. money to spend on the girls in Tarpon Springs. Huh, Andy? Always talking about women. That's because you ain't married to one of them. After three months at sea, you ain't happy to go home to your wife? You don't know my wife. You can't appreciate the freedom of the seas. Sometimes I think a sponge's life is the happiest life in the world. Raising a family without any wife. Just because nature had the good sense to make him male and female all on himself. But a sponge, that's all right. What do you want with a wife? Ain't one cook enough in the family? That's the best thing about going home for the Feast of Epiphany. It gives our stomachs a chance to forget what Hector did to them. What do you say? I've cooked for the best divers in the Gulf. Huh. Maybe that's why they're not diving anymore. I'm the best cook in Tarpon Springs. You should have stayed in Tarpon Springs. <laughs> you... I quit. Hey, what's the matter with you two fellas? He insults my cooking, Captain. Very special turtle soup I make for you, Captain. Well, that's very nice of you, Hector. Look! Sponge hookers are just a little bit too late. All right, bring Steve up. Sponge we found in the whole bed. Oh, they've cleaned out the bed. We'll find another bed, son. There won't be any left to find if they don't stop poaching in the shallow bottom. They've no right in here. What are they divers for if they won't stay out in the deep where they belong? Because they're divers, they think they own the whole ocean. How long are we going to stand for it? I'll have another talk with Gregory Papas. Oh, talk, talk. Why don't we do something? 
Try this. You were down there for hours. Ah, uh, I know, and I'm all right. Come on, this will tell you. Taste all right? Mmm. Never better. <laughs> Good. Hey, I could have stayed down there as long as there are any sponges left. Well, we wouldn't have room for them. The hatch is full now. Well, that suits me. Ah, Tarpon Springs is certainly going to look good to me after this trip. And Helen, she's going to look pretty good to you, too, <laughs> huh, Steve? You said it. <laughs> Should be a father, Andy. Four times is enough. Andy! Over here! The winner! <laughs> Hello, Cap. You'll make a fine diver when he grows up, hey, Andy? Sure, Andy is going to be able to start a fleet of his own. You wouldn't think it was so funny if you were in my shoes. You want to stop taking your shoes off? <laughs> a good voyage, eh, Steve? Yeah. Fine wool sponges, all of them, eh? <laughs> Nothing but the best for the Nicholas. <laughs> What's this? Is hooker sponge your idea of the best? We couldn't help it, Captain. Ran into a storm in the deep. It would have taken a week for the bottom to clear. We had to come into shore to fill out our cargo if we wanted to get back in time for cross day. Where's Helen? Mm -hmm. She has a surprise for you when she sees you. Go along with you now. Alex will tell me about the voyage. Go along, kid. Be with you later. Go along. to bring you back to me safely. <laughs> Don't you worry about me. I can take care of myself. Then someday when I get rich like your father, I'll buy my own boat. Then I won't ever have to leave you. Oh, not yet, Steve. Wait until... Wait? You... Didn't father tell you? Oh, he said something about a surprise. Well, can't you guess? Johnny! Look at you. Both so proud of yourself. Sure. I was a good-looking kid, wasn't I? Wasn't I? Well, a conceited one. <laughs> now, when's he coming? You're cooking, Hector. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. Where's everybody? If it's Helen, you mean. <laughs> Remember that day after the parade, we went up the Anklote River on a picnic and I fell in? <laughs> Steve pushed you in. And you pulled her out. Gee, it's great to see you, Johnny. The same goes for me. I was the best diver in Tarpon Springs. Thanks. <laughs> hey, you won't be so bad yourself. Sure. We'll make a diver out of you yet. 
Won't we, Helen? <laughs> you don't know how good it is having both of you here. You don't think all the universities in the world could keep me from coming home for the biggest day in the year, do you? Let me look at you. You're more handsome than ever. <laughs> Better keep an eye on him, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I almost forgot something. Close your eyes. Gee, I almost forgot myself. Go on, close them. <laughs> oh, Steve! Oh, you shouldn't have, either of you. The real shark, Steve. Picked him up in Honduras. Here. You sure lucky to have us, hmm, Johnny? I think we're the lucky ones. Hello, Captain Pappas. Oh, you've come back, John. You've changed, my boy. Clothes don't change a Caminus. You'll know him for his father's son when he dies for the Golden Cross on Epiphany tomorrow. We have already spoken to the elders. They have chosen to honor both of you. That's an honor I haven't any right to. Your father won it at your age. And when the great archbishop from New York gave him his blessing, good luck followed him with the whole year. But that's what I mean. He was part of the sponge fleet. The blessing of the waters tomorrow is meant for them, to, to bring a safe voyage. I didn't come home to stay and join the fleet. Haven't you been away long enough stuffing your head with books? That won't teach you to stand up in 20 fathoms. I'm not going back to the University of Florida. I'm going to New York, to Columbia, the law school there. You're like the rest of them. When they go away too long and come back afraid to die. Better you not come back at all. Father. You don't mean that. Neither does Johnny. Wait till he gets a good breath of salt air blowing up the antelope channel. He'll change his mind. At least, Steve, I know you'll dive with honor tomorrow. If winning the cross means good luck to the St. Nicholas, I'll bring home the blessing. Good. Easy. A little more air in that chest, you'll hit the ceiling. The best diver in Tarpon Springs needs this chest. <laughs> yeah. Competition was pretty stiff down there at the bottom of the bayou. Hey, are you kidding? I told you I'd bring home the blessing. I hope you'll never have need of it. Like some of those poor devils who weren't so lucky. Why should I? When I got this. Say, I can take it in 20 fathoms and deeper. And we'll see you after you've made the collection for those crippled divers who couldn't? I'll get them the biggest cross-day collection they've ever seen. Wait. See a mermaid from Tampa? Tampa? No. But if that's what's keeping Steve. Hey, wait for me! Maybe he won't want you to find him. Maybe 
they're going to bed. Maybe. is over. Get out. Steve. Oh, what do you want? Hey, leave him alone. I don't like you, Caminus. I never did like you. Now go on. Beat it. Hector, you bring the cross money. Not much of a collection. the money that was on this plate. Hmm? <laughs> I guess it went to Tampa. <laughs> when they come any lower than you, they'll crawl. Uh -huh. you feel? Plenty punch drunk. Hey, have you got any money? Thanks, just the same. What about Alex if he's such a good friend of yours? He only had five bucks. What good would that do? Hey, you ain't gonna sponge on Johnny, are you? No, he needs every cent he saved up to get him to New York. I can only lay my hands on those two days. Go on, say it. I got it coming. I suppose you think I'm a great guy. Well, of course, we missed you up the river yesterday, but that wasn't nearly as important as the collection. Come on, they're waiting for you. Where have you been, Steve? We've had all the flags up for you. Congratulations. Your good luck yesterday brought us to the largest collection we have ever had. What? Oh, and you were put out because he was too busy to show up for your picnic. Pity we haven't more like him to be a credit to the fleet. You can be proud of him. We're both proud of you, aren't we, John? Of course. Thanks, Johnny. Thanks, sir, plenty. Alex said to congratulate you, too. Feeling better, Alex? Sure, there's nothing makes a man feel better than digging up 50 bucks for a good cause. 55 bucks? What? Didn't he tell you? The best collection they've ever had. Sure, you don't think I'd leave a friend holding the bag. But you told Steve you ain't got no money. You don't think the captain of the Nicholas would want Mr. Pappas to blame him for bringing disgrace to his boat just because he let the collection run, run short? But where'd the rest of the money come from? Huh? Oh. Well, you see, uh, I couldn't let Alex set such a generous example without... Mm -hmm. I was right. It was your money. Now how are we going to get to New York? We. Oui. Are there enough Greek restaurants without you starting one? I'm the best cook in Tarpon Springs, and some of these All things... All right, you... Hector. You, you... I quit. Thought you were gonna quit. That's what I thought. Something else hadn't happened. It's like the one I gave Steve. St. Margaret will always bring you back to us, too. 
Why did you change your mind about going to New York? Why? Was it because of me? No. I wouldn't want to think that that's why you stayed after it. After what happened the other day at the Anklo? That wouldn't be sporting, would it? No. Principles of modern law. You won't need that here. I'm the law on this boat. And this time, you're not taking any boat ride up the Anclote. Okay, Steve. Better get some sleep. Looks like that hurricane was a false alarm. <sighs> Tough luck, this trip. Coming back for Easter auction without a full cargo. What are a few sponges when you're lucky to come back at all? Yeah. This isn't any light for you. That's what Helen said. She even asked me not to let you die. Are you in love with Helen? What gave you that idea? Oh, I don't know. I... I guess because... Well, because I am. I thought it'd be kind of tough if we both felt that way about her. in the shallow bottom. Yellow sponge isn't worth much to us, but it's better than nothing. These hookers have taken enough from you without any of our sponge beds. We're going back to Tarpon Springs with a full cargo if we have to strip every hooker bed on the coast. And you can do it yourself. All right. I'll give you a pole to work with, like the other hookers. I guess it's your trick, Steve. Don't let them talk you into it. You keep your nose there. We've got enough sponges. Give these hookers a break. If Alex wants to bully somebody who can't fight back, that's his business. But you're not that kind of a guy, poaching in their waters. Poaching? That's funny. Coming from a guy that ain't too particular about doing a little poaching of his own on the side. What are you talking about? You ought to know. You and Helen was doing the talking in the cabin that day when I happened to walk in on you. Well, what was wrong with that? I wouldn't know. But maybe you can tell Steve what she meant when she said it wouldn't be sporting of you to stay in Tarpon Springs after what happened that day up there and close. Why, well, you... Oh, no, you don't. Oh, come on, Alex. Let's go to work. That's right. Cook up all the trouble you can. What's that? You can't bluff me. I'll quit. You can't quit. That's what you think. You're fired. Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> 
Caminas has cheated himself out of his share at the auction. All right, bring Steve up. Captain Pappas. They're all down at the auction exchange. Okay. What it'll be? Beer. We don't sell hookers. They're my gift. Thanks. You know Demetrius and Louis. I guess you're not to blame for what's happened. Now you were kind to say that. You dare to bring your hooker friends here? Because they need your friendship, too. Is that so much to ask, Captain Pappas? Your divers have the whole gulf. We've only the shallows. But there'll be no sponge for our hook if men like Alex Grenaris continue to clean out our bed. Men like Alex Grenaris are men. Now get them out of here. But Captain Pappas, I told you what to expect. Get out! Dad. You've got to listen to me. You coming here defending them? They're not on trial. You are. You and the whole selfish, intolerable system you stand for. They've got right on their side. They're right to live and to live in peace. But if you're too stubborn to see that, if it's fight that you want... Stop it, John. This isn't your quarrel, and whether it's right or wrong, you can't change it. Don't you see what you're doing to us? You and Father and Steve. Isn't that more important? I'm sorry, Helen. But you can't let him go like that. He's made his choice. You'll not see him again. The wife of the stoutest diver in Tarpon Springs can have no friendship for one like him. Wife? Tomorrow. We publish the bands of your wedding to Steve. And for your dowry, 
The profits of the auction. that won't let diving boats work in less than six fathoms. I'll have to confiscate your catch. Hey, you can't do that. Are you trying to cheat us? That law has been forgotten for 40 years. Somebody remembered it. You rotten scum chaser, you. Yeah, none of that. Get your crew together, Alec. I wish you hadn't forced us, Steve. Sooner or later, it had to be done. Sure. Anything to stop his wedding. I didn't know. That's a laugh. Come on. I hope you like the cooking in jail. <laughs> the ocean wide and free, that is a sponsor's life for me. Shut up. Oh, can't I even think about it? No. Easter, and look at us. Just because, just because you had to lay a neck. What? If you hadn't gone into hook and waters, we wouldn't be here. What do you think it's going to happen to us at the trial? Don't worry about that. Papa will get us the best lawyer in Tampa. Maybe you get us off for 30 days. Oh, will you cut it out? What's the matter with 30 days? You'd think it was a vacation after being sentenced to 10 years. What? You ain't never been married. <laughs> You're lucky you got a wife, Andy. Steve didn't even get to go to his own wedding. Some fellas got all the luck. Sure. <laughs> Like Johnny Caminas, huh, Steve? Oh, it's funny, eh? Well, cut it out, Joe. How'd you like it if a hooker pulled this just to cut in on your girl? There wouldn't be enough left of him to throw in the sponge. That's all that'll be left of Johnny Caminas when you get out of here, eh, Steve? Sure. <laughs> but he's not out of here yet. Mike! It's all right, boys. You're going home. I knew this would be too good to last. The lawyer just got the paper from Tampa. You're free until the trial. Come on. Papa's waiting for you. Where's Johnny? They tell me that hook of boats selling tonight. Yeah, but not with Johnny. Alex, tell Papa's I'll see him later. Hey, you tell him, Mike. I'm going with Steve. Hey, kid, wait! Where's Johnny Caminas? I don't know. Come on, get it out. Come on, yeah. where's Johnny Caminas? Don't. Where is he? The Easter services. He won't be here till later. Come on. Oh, don't go with Alex. He brought trouble enough between all of us. There was no bitterness, no fuel before you became captain of the Nicholas. And before I'm through, there won't be any hookers. We'll run you all down to Key West County with the rest of them. There's no good in you, Alex. You're bad, and that's what he'll do to you if you let him. Maybe this will teach you not to talk so much. You forgot your pole! Bye, Helen. Is that what it really means? Steve is going to make you happy. What are you going to do? Oh, I don't know yet. I can't just walk out and leave Demetrius' friends holding the bag for trouble that I made. 
You'll try to make Steve understand, won't you? That I wouldn't have started all this if I'd known before the auction that you were going to be married so soon. Would that have made so much difference? Jailing Steve? Falling up your wedding? You don't think I'm that kind of a heel. John, when are you going to see the light? You won't have to lie for Steve anymore. I know why you couldn't go to New York. Why you had to join the fleet. Hector told me what happened on cross day. Sure, I think you're a heel. And Steve's the grandest guy in the world. Will you get in the house? I want to talk to John. I'll wait for you. That hooker boat won't take you to New York. Here. You can get out of town tomorrow. Well, I... I guess that makes us even. Not quite. Please! Please! No, no! No, please! Please go. Please. He had it coming to him. Good night. Helen! Helen! What did you expect me to do? Let him get away with it? Tonight wasn't the first time. You've been seeing him all the while I was in jail. No, but that hasn't stopped me from seeing other things. And they're not very pleasant to find out. What's he been telling you? You've shown me more than anyone could tell me. Alex is waiting for you. The St. Nicholas is sailing tonight. Sailing? Why do you think I got you out? When your trial comes up, you won't be here. Well, I'm not going to have my boat held into port while the rest of the fleet is diving. Ship out for three months and leave her back here with that hooker? What do you take me for? Why are you both so wrong about John? Defending him, seeing behind my back, violating your betrothal to Steve. I'm not going to marry him. When he returns from the cruise, the bans will be published. It's no use, Father. Your customs aren't my laws. They don't give you the right to dictate my life. You can't make me love somebody I don't love. You'll marry Steve as I planned for you. We're not living in the old world. This is a new country, my country, and things are different here. Only you won't see that. You're still living in Greece. Father! I didn't mean it, Father. Truly, I didn't. I didn't mean it. I didn't. Please, Father. I'm all right. Go along, Steve. The fleet never sailed without the Nicholas. Helen will be waiting for you. When you come back. Have you seen my father? Not since before the services. He said he was on his way here. Well, we've been waiting for him. No one seems to know where he is. It's got me worried. Louis! Let me see that. You seem to recognize this. Do you? Why... Why, Steve wore one like that. What would he be doing here? If he knows anything about your father... Come on, we'll find out now. Out of here, Alex. What are you talking about? Didn't Steve tell you he saw Demetrius last night? No, why? They picked up his cross on the deck. What of it? They found Demetrius this morning, floating in the channel. I don't know anything about it. That won't stop the hookers. They're coming, Alex. And they're coming after the man who did it. Bring him up. We've got to get Steve out of here in a hurry.
we've got to work fast. You get him to the hospital at Tarpon Springs as quick as this boat can get there. He'll come out of it. If he doesn't, you'll have a lot to answer for. doesn't draw the bubbles out of his blood, he hasn't a chance. I've seen a lot of them. He's got it bad. Why are you here? Demetrius. Steve. Do you know how he died? No. You're gonna be all right. Sure you are. How long this boat isn't moving? The anchor's cut. Then do something. What are you stalling for? Don't you want to get him to a doctor? What are you getting at? Is that why you wanted to give him the bends? To kill him before he could tell what he knows about Demetrius? Steve. Steve. Now do you know what killed Demetrius? Yes. I know. Oh. Hookers! If you can hold them up while I'll go down and get the anchor off. No. I'll need every man of you here on deck. He's all right. Put him in that suit. Haven't you done enough to him? You want some of it? Put him in that suit.
hasn't there been enough bad feeling without making it worse by arresting these men? That won't bring Demetrius back. He had to die to find peace. But he wouldn't mind that, Lewis, if it meant uniting the rest of you. And that's what it's got to me. I couldn't stand it. Never sailing again. Going through life like your father. You're going to be all right. You've got to get well. I wouldn't have anything to live for. Yes, Steve. You'd have me. No. I wouldn't want you to have... have a man. You're... You're all men. Thank you.